So here's an entertaining revenge story about a guy who definitely handles things like a boss upon discovering right before he got married that his soon-to-be bride was cheating on him. And let me tell you, not just cheating with some random stranger. No, she's cheating on him with his brother and also her female best friend. So obviously this chick goes both ways. She likes both egg rolls and sushi. And this guy handles it like a boss, in my opinion, but... Well, there are many that don't think you handle it like a boss, and I'll let you guys decide in the comment section. Titled, Am I the a-hole for leaving my fiancé at the altar after discovering her affair with my brother and her best friend? He says, I, a 29-year-old male, have been with my fiancé, Emily, for five years. We got engaged a year ago, and our wedding was supposed to be a fairy tale. Oh, for goodness sake. Everything seemed perfect until last week. Notice he said five years. And I always tell you guys, you gotta be with a woman at least five years before you even consider marrying her. But that doesn't guarantee anything. So you can still pull BS. I was preparing for the wedding when I noticed Emily acting strangely. She was secretive with her phone and had suddenly unexplained disappearances. I chalked it up to wedding stress until I received an anonymous message with photos and screenshots revealing that Emily was having an affair with not just one person, but two. My brother, a Mark, 31 years old, and her best friend Sarah, 28-year-old female. This poor bastard, his own brother. I've covered stories like this when the brother's doing the, the girlfriend or the fiance, whatever, but it's just, it's unforgivable. Completely unforgivable. I was devastated, to say the least. I confronted Mark, who admitted everything and said it started as, as a mistake, but evolved into something more mistake here let me i'm gonna punch you upside the head a few times and, and let's just see if you think that was a mistake no that's not a mistake asshole i'm your brother and you're doing this to me no we're done and you better start running because believe me i'm gonna catch up to you and you're gonna get the ass whooping of a lifetime uh sarah on the other hand denied it at first but then broke down and confessed saying she and emily had always been closer than i realized so his fiance here is a serial cheater probably the whole relationship she's been a cheater this guy here is probably like the nice guy she settles with. But as it turns out, he's not so nice. I didn't know what to do. Calling up the wedding seemed drastic, but marrying someone who betrayed me with two of the people I trusted most felt impossible. I decided to go through with the wedding to gather my thoughts. But as I stood at the altar, watching Emily walk down the aisle, all I could think about was the betrayal. So, you know, he could have certainly ended this whole thing ahead of time. I mean, if his mom and dad put up the money, or usually it's the bride's family puts up the money, but if his mom and dad put up a bunch of money, he went with this anyway, with the intent of doing what I know he's going to do, that ain't cool to them. But if it wasn't his mom and dad's money, then, you know, but then again, her parents' money too, but anyhow. Uh, so once she reached me up at the altar, I couldn't go through with it. I took a deep breath and told everyone what I had discovered. Man, right up there in front of everybody, huh? Emily burst into tears. Mark looked horrified and Sarah ran out. My parents were furious and the guests were in shock. <laughs> well, I can imagine. How's his bro still there at this wedding, even after he confronted him, I guess, a few days before this whole thing? And I know how his brother's there at the wedding, showing up with bruise marks in his face because he probably got an ass whooping. That's one part here I question. Now both families are divided. My parents are supporting me, but Emily's parents are calling me cruel for humiliating her publicly. Um, your bitch-ass daughter's been cheating on me the whole time, no doubt, with my brother and her friend for a whole sushi egg roll tour of Asia fest here. And I'm the bad guy? She deserved to be punished. She deserved to get that. Oh, I said the P word. Hope you two doesn't flag me here. Our friends are split, with some saying I did the right thing, and others saying I should have handled it privately. Well, now we have a good story to share. Emily's been texting and calling me nonstop, begging for forgiveness, saying she made a mistake and wants to fix things. Again, this whole mistake song and dance. If you forgot to pay the car bill and the bank called you about making that payment, otherwise they're going to have the repo guy come and take your car away, okay, it's a mistake. Or if you got to pay the electric bill. But this is a full-fledged affair with two people. And there's probably more. It's not a mistake. 
Uh, Mark has disappeared and Sarah is posting cryptic message on social media about betrayal and forgiveness. Yeah, whatever. I'm heartbroken and confused. Am I the a-hole for exposing Emily and leaving her at the altar, or should I handle it differently? Well, I'm a heartless bastard, so I say good for you. And I don't care. I think it's funny. My only issue is if his parents put up the money. You know, like, it, obviously these things, you know, you get so close to the wedding, I think they're non-refundable. But I'm sure if something was done, they could have got some money back. So I don't want his parents, who did nothing wrong, to get hurt. Her parents, well, they give, they, they raise the bitch, so, you know, whatever. But regardless, aside from that, no, she deserves the public humiliation. You know, because what other way is she going to get it back in some capacity, you know? That's what I think. So, whatever. I think it's funny, so I'll let you guys decide. Now, the comment section is very divided here, as you can imagine. The comment section also says that they think this is bullshit, but I've yet to ever cover any story posted online that there weren't people calling out saying it's BS. So one guy says here, not the a-hole. Well, some might argue that you could have handled it privately, the magnitude of the betrayal, and the fact that it involved your bro and her best friend make it understandably why you felt the need to expose it publicly. It was a way to protect yourself and avoid any further manipulation or gaslighting. Well, certainly there's no way for her to control the narrative now. Now the guy says, Emily's parents can go pound Sam. Sarah needs to lay off the self-pity in social media. Your brother and his mistake that evolved into more... His decision to fuck your fiance can stay hidden in the hole he dug for himself. As for Emily, boo fucking who. Another one with the I made a mistake. No mistake here. Nope, very intentional. It was conscious decision to screw around behind your back. And not just anyone, your own brother. She is scum. None of these people were in a grim grip of some, of some sort of mind control. They had all had free will. They chose to fuck you over. They deserve what they got. That's what I think. Another one. <coughs> not the a-hole. Often in situations like these, one doesn't know how to react and you did what seemed right to you in the moment and the people blaming you for doing it publicly might not understand how hard it is to make rational decisions when your entire life is falling apart. Let's remember that, guys. This is the woman that he was going to marry, obviously in love with, obviously more into the relationship that she was, and not just she betrayed him, but with his brother. I mean, just try to put yourself in his shoes. So... If there's anybody who can get a pass for not thinking clearly, it's this guy. <laughs> also, if your auntie's parents are going to take her side, don't bother with them. This is their child, and they have an obvious bias towards her. Naturally. The father's like, my little girl wouldn't do that. Friends are free to have an opinion of their own. You should focus on yourself and only yourself. It will take time to heal from the betrayal from your fiancé and your friend, but it will eventually happen. Meanwhile, you should definitely seek therapy and don't bother about what other people think about you. Well, this guy's a good guy, and obviously he's going to care what people think. But at the end of the day, you got to take care of yourself, guys. So I think it's funny. Screw all those people, and there's no way they can. she can try to control the narrative now. I mean, she can try, but, you know, this guy's got evidence. And I still want to know, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking this, who the heck sent him those pictures? That's the question here. Probably want to probably, I don't know, maybe somebody that she screwed over to. Who, who knows? But regardless, I think it's pretty darn funny. 